Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing the new card and the evil archers. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm really excited to show you guys how broken the evil archers are. I played a few games and I like it so much, honestly. So going to pump in the middle. This pump out deck, I feel like it's so broken. I just put in the um, little prince for the mighty miner. And then I just kind of subbed in the archers on the evil slot. So look at how fast this mega knight's going to die. I'm not going to like pop my ability or anything. If I just kind of let this thing cook, it's going to die so fast. And the phoenix should also die, and it should not die, honestly. It might live after all that. Yeah, it's honestly going to live. I'm going to go for a pump. Only took like 600 damage right there. Um, Without a mini tank, defending a Mega Knight would have been hard. But with this card, it has so much DPS that it was actually not too bad. going to pop my ability here. I popped it because he played a pump in the back, so he's going to have to spend on that now. You kind of have to be careful with the ability, though. It's 3 elixir, so you can't afford to just pop it whenever. So you kind of have to like see if you want to pop it. Or see if it's a good time to pop it and then kind of go about that. I'm going to go for Axe Ball on the right lane right now. Going to Ice Spear in front. Okay, he has a Monk, so I'm going to let that die. Now he's going to pop the ability, so let that die. Going to pump again in the middle. Um, This matchup looks decent, though. It's not really that bad. I know that he has a Mega Knight and a Monk, but I should be able to do something with the Evo Archers. I'm going to scale. He's on the Firecracker. By the way, interesting deck. Mega Knight and a Monk. Well, I mean, it is kind of mid-ladder right now because season just ended, so... League 6, 7 are kind of going to be mid ladder. Like all the off final decks are going to be here right now. But also if you guys are wondering where I finished. I got top 85 last season. Not the best finish I've gotten. But meta was pretty terrible. So I'm like glad that I got top 100 at least. Pretty happy with that to be honest. I'm going to pop my ability. Really bad time to go pump. He didn't have enough for monk or anything. Okay my little prince is going to die. But I'm going to go for fire spirit right now. I'm going to evil archers hide to take out the monk. Look at that range. Oh my god, that range is crazy. That's like a RG range right there. I'm going to go for a little prince, then I'm going to skellies. I'm going to try to take out the king tower with just the archers. going to tank for my broken archers, then I'm going to put the normal archers in the middle. going to ice spirit. Just going to spam now. Pop my ability, because why not? Damn, that like melted the king tower. That was so much damage right there. I can already tell archers are going to be all over the meta. Okay, I'm in my next match here. I'm going to fire spirit to try to get back to my pump and just going to pump in the middle. See what deck he's playing. Bomber. Okay, it could be Golem, honestly. I don't think any other decks run Bomber. Maybe E Giant. Yeah, it is going to be Golem. So I'm going to Ice Spirit in the middle. Going to Skelly's in the middle, too. So Golem is not really that bad. I just have to get the Machine Gun on the Golem, like the Little Prince on the Golem, and then just not let it reset or walk or something. I just have to let it lock on the Golem for a minute till it dies, and then I can kind of just like counter push with it, I think. I don't know. It plays out perfectly in my head, but. Could turn out different, though, if he has a Fireball Zap or something. I'm going to go for a Collector in the back now. Okay, let's go for a Golem in the back. So let's see if this kind of plays out like I think it will. And I'm also not too worried about this push because I'm going to be back to my Evil Archers pretty soon. Just have to play them one more time and then I'll get it back. I'm going to Little Prince right now. And I just have to kind of like distract the bats and stuff till my Little Prince takes it out. So I'm going to Archers in the middle. Okay, I just have to kind of let it cook. Look at that Dark Goblin right there. Not even a Dark Goblin, that's a whole machine gun. I'm going to go for our archers down low, and then I'm going to Ice Spirit. And yeah, that's a uh, dead golem. He's probably going to Zap to take it out. Yeah, let's go for Zap. But honestly, if I go Expo right now, he can't defend because E-Barbs die. They're going to get shredded. I'm not going to Skellies because I know that he has Bomber in hand. But look at that. Oh my god. Yo, that DPS is crazy. There's no way my Axe Ball only took one E-Barb shot and a Bomber shot. Wow, the Archers actually took out everything from like 8 miles away. That was actually so crazy. I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun with Pumpo this season. Like Pumpo Mighty Manor. Little Prince, not really that good with Axe Ball. I just want to try it out right now. Or I'm playing it right now because I wanted to try it out. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to play it in Axe Ball long term though. I think I'm going to go back to Mighty Manor. But yeah, Archers are going to be so broken. I'm so excited for that. Log on the Little Prince before he gets to pop the ability. Also, that was kind of a bad placement for him. You want to play it like in front of the Axpo, directly in front of the Axpo. So when you pop the ability, the Guardian's going to kind of swipe everything out and then go to the Axpo. Okay, I have to defend this push. Uh, he might dual lean me here, so I'm going to have to watch out. Little Prince on the left, take out the Golem. going to Archers over here. I know that he's going to air us, so I'm going to have to watch out. going to Fire Spirit. Then I'm going to go for Skelly's in the middle. Pop my ability here. Gonna go for Ice Spirit, uh, Fire Spirit over here to take that out. Skelly's over here, just gonna Archers down low. No way the right side died already. Evil Archers are so good. 
And they're helping out on the left lane too. Bombers are dead. Yeah, he got no damage from that. Wow. Okay, that was crazy. He actually got no damage from that. Skelly's here, and then I'm gonna go for Ice Spirit. Such a good ability, pushing all the E-Barbs back. Or both of the E-Barbs back, and then gonna Archer's Pocket, and that is gonna be good game, so I'll take the win. I'm gonna hop right in, having so much fun right now. Evil Archers and Little Prince are so broken. Okay, I'm in my next match here. Also, guys, almost everyone I'm facing right now is playing a Little Prince, but they actually don't know. Like, a lot of them don't know how to counter an Axe Bow with it, which is kind of nice. They haven't really played the Little Prince in front of the Axe Bow and then popped the ability. And I'm hoping that not a lot of people know about that just yet, because I want to abuse the um, Pump of Mighty Miner deck for a little bit if I can. But I feel like the good players will know how to play the card, like, decently well, so they're definitely going to know how to counter stuff like Axe Bow. And like, I don't know, even other stuff like Mega Knight and whatnot. I'm going to Little Prince in the back right now. And then I'll go for Ice Spirit on the Prince. Or not the Prince, the Knight. Okay, that should die now. I'm going to Fire Sprout on this too. I'm going to Skelly's on the Prince. Oh, that was a good ability. I'm going to Log though. Okay, Ice Spirit over here. And then I'm going to Pump in the back. I should have Pumped first and then went Fire Spirit. But it doesn't matter. I could have rotated back to my Pump sooner. But should not matter anyways though. Because I'm trying to go in soon. I want to Archers on defense here, so I get back to my Evil Archers, and then I'll show how broken the Evil Archers are with the Axe Bow. I feel like I haven't faced a building yet, but if I face a building and they play it in the middle, I can snipe it from my side, and the building's not going to do anything to the Archers. They're just like flat out so broken. Also, Archers are definitely going to replace Evo Knight this season. I feel like Evo Archers are so much better. More broken than like any other evolution on release, I feel like. Gonna Little Prince, and then gonna Ice Spirit. I'm back to my Evo Archers, but I don't want to go in right away though. I want to see what deck he's playing first. Okay, I'll go in on the left now. Like, I'll just do this and then go Archers on the side. Gonna have Fire Spirit too. Oh, he has a P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. should die though. Look at that thing dying so quick. I'm gonna log right now. I'm gonna Ice Spirit and that should die, honestly. Damn, that was quick. The Archers do so much damage. I'm gonna predict his Archers because I know that he's back to them. Okay, that was good. Uh, wait, she might still win the trade. Never mind, okay. She almost won the trade. Evil Archer is crazy. Took out both of my normal archers and then almost uh, lived as well after all that. But just gonna log on the ram. Then I'm gonna go for the Ice Spirit Skellies on the ram. Gonna Axe on the left again. Okay, just gonna do it now. I've got too many pumps on the field to not be going Axe right now. Okay, Little Prince on the side. Uh, Skellies on the P.E.K.K.A. here. Oh, I misplaced the Skellies. No, one tile to the left and I win the game because P.E.K.K.A. wouldn't kill my Axe Bow, but... I'm going to Axe Bow again, though. Just going to Log. Actually going to pop my ability here. Ability is a lot better than Log in this position. Okay, Evil Archer's down. Boom, 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 boom. Look at how fast that died. Yo, that's crazy. I can't get used to it. I feel like I've had enough time to adapt to its, like, damage. But still, I can't get used to it. It's so much. Going to pump in the back. I mean, it doesn't even matter what I do. But yeah, he barely got any damage on my towers. So I'm going to hop right in. I will see you on the next match. Okay, I'm in my next match here, facing Blade 03. See what deck he's playing. I'm gonna go for an Ice Spirit to cycle. Okay. Gonna Skelly's the back as well, and then I'll just go log on the bar barrel to try to get back to my pump. Back to my pump now, so I'm gonna put it in the middle. It's always safe to go pump in the middle, by the way, because if they have a rocket or like a graveyard, they can't really take out your pump. Well, I mean, they could rocket your pump, but they won't get the damage with the tower. So yeah, always a really good spot. I'm gonna Ice Spirit to counter the Dark Prince. Just gonna Skelly's on it too. I don't want it to lock on the pump. I'm gonna go for a Little Prince in the back just to match his Little Prince in the back, but not sure what deck he's playing. He has a Dark Prince and a Little Prince. Okay, just gonna go for Archers on the side. I feel like that was kind of a bad RG though. Okay, good ability there, taking out the egg and then also tanking for the Little Prince. I'm gonna Skelly's and then go Ice Spirit on the RG. Ah, that was a lot of damage. I kind of got surprise factored, but it's fine though. I should be able to get the damage back with the Evil Archers and the Axe Bow. I just have to get to my Evil Archers though. But yeah, let's see what he does here. I'm going to try to go for Archers in the back if it doesn't do anything, but let's see. Okay, going to Fire Spirit to cycle. Uh, Ice Spirit at the back. He's not playing a card. I'm going to Archers in the back here. Okay, so next cycle, I should have the Evil Archers back, so looking pretty nice. Little Prince in the back right now. If I go Expo right now, I don't think he's back to RG. Okay, he just got it back with that Phoenix, so he's definitely going to play it on Max, but I'm going to Ice Spirit on it, see if I can take it out without letting Max die. Nah, Expo's going to die, I think. 
I'm gonna pop my ability on this though. Just gonna make sure that my little prince wins the trade and then I'm gonna scale these high, then I'm gonna Axe on the left. Okay, this Axe should do something. No RG in cycle, so should do something. Also, I'm back to my evil archers now. So if he does something funny, like, I don't know, Phoenix on the Axe I was gonna go evil archers, but I'm gonna save them for defense, I guess. I'm gonna pump in the back and then just gonna scale these. Oh no, I did it too early. Yikes, okay, that's not good. Uh, just gonna Ice Spirit, kind of a tiny mistake, but it's fine, I've got the Ice Spirit in cycle. Gonna go for a Little Prince in the back, back left, kind of like in front of my King Tower. Gonna go for, uh, Cal's kind of ready with the Evil Archers if he went RG, but for some reason he's not playing the RG. That was good arrows, by the way, he's playing an RG deck, so activating the King Tower, like, doesn't matter for him. Okay, I'm gonna Expo, gonna Archers on the side and DPS down the RG before my Expo dies. Yeah, that should die, right? Okay, only two shots on my Expo, so the Expo should do something. Never mind, the Little Prince is gonna take out my Expo, but I'm gonna Arches on defense. I feel like that was like the best thing I could have done with my Evil Arches right there, but I still did not get the damage I was looking for. I'm gonna log right now. Skelly's here, and then I'll just go for Pump in the back. Okay, let's see what he does here. Gonna let that go, because I know that it's not gonna get the one shot. Gonna go for a Fire Spray, then I'm gonna Expo again. I just want to bait out the RG so I can Archers on it and then outcycle it if I can. Just gonna do this, gonna Little Prince. I keep forgetting that it's also a champion, so every time they put it down, they have the three card cycle, and so do I. Pop my ability here, push it back. Gonna log. Okay, really well timed log, by the way. Knock the Dark Prince shield off just on time, and then also hit the Firecracker and the Little Prince. Wait, that was terrible. The RG is going to die. It's not going to do any damage because my evil archers are going to do so much damage on it. Look at that. I'm going to expo right now and that should be game. I think he only has like a bar barrel right now. going to catch it with the fire spray. Okay, I failed to catch, but I'm going to fire spray right now. Oh, he defended though. I should have logged there, but all good. I'm going to go for an expo again. Just going to log on the little prince. He's probably going to pop the ability, which I hope he does because then he can't play a RG. Ability is 3 elixir, so he definitely cannot play RG right now. Gonna Ice Spear, gonna Skelly's on this, and Expo should be on the tower for a little bit. Gonna go for an Expo again, just gonna Evo Archers with the Expo. Gonna Ice Spear with the Expo, gonna Fire Spear with the Expo, gonna Skeletons with the Expo as well. Just kind of spamming my whole hand right now. I'm um, just gonna Ice Spear, then I'm gonna pop my ability here. Wait, I'm gonna spam the right because my ability actually went off. Gonna log here on the Dark Prince to take it out. Yo, the Guardian's on the tower. Yo? Okay, I'll take the win. Alright, that was nice. Kind of hard to break through, but I managed to win the game anyway, so I'll take the win. I'm going to hop right in. Okay, on to my last game here. I'm going to go for a Fire Spirit to cycle. Super tired right now, because end season, we always have to kind of stay up for like a long time. And then this time around, I actually wanted to stay up for like a little bit longer, even after the end season, because I wanted to play the new card and the Evo Archer. So yeah, it's like 8 a.m. for me right now, and... Honestly, I'm not feeling too well, but it's fine, though. I don't have any classes today, so I can definitely sleep in, like, for the rest of the day if I want to, but probably not going to do that. I also have some things that I need to do later today, so I'm going to get, like, a few hours of sleep after I upload the video. going to go for skellies here. going to Ice Bear on the RG and the Fisher. going to log on the right. Okay, good ability, honestly, but uh, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of easy to defend though. Oh wait, that's on my tower. I'm gonna have to Ice Spirit. Oh, that did a lot of damage right there, but all good though. But yeah, I was gonna talk about how end season always like messes up everybody's sleep schedule because a lot of top ladder players have to stay up to like the last minute to try to get good finish. And oftentimes season ends at like 5 a.m., 4 a.m., just awkward times like that. So yeah, it's really annoying to have to like stay up that long and be that tired and still have to compete, but all good though, it's kind of fun in its own way, I guess. I'm gonna pump in the back here. Okay, gonna have to log, by the way, the evil archers, even if they're at 1 HP, they get a shot. Kind of like the dark goblin, except for it only gets one shot, but the one shot is really, really high damage. Look at how much damage that did, like 200 damage, just from that one shot. I'm gonna go for a little prince and then just gonna expo. I wanna bait out the RG on my expo right now, so I'll be able to potentially outcycle it future king over here that sounds so goofy but i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but just gonna ice spirit and i'm gonna go for uh, i don't really need to go for anything right now i'll pop my ability here though to push that thing back uh, both of our abilities missed is it even possible to hit the other i don't think it's possible to hit the other little prince with your ability 
because we both popped it when they were on each other, but they both kind of missed it. I'm going to Arches with the Expo. He can't, like, afford a RG right now. Can only pop the ability here. I'm going to Log. going to Ice Spirit. Okay, good damage on the tower. I'm going to go for a Little Prince and then just going to go for Archers. Actually, going to Expo and then go Archers. Okay, next cycle, I'm going to be back to my Evo Archers, so looking forward to that. going to pop my ability here. That should go on the tower. Oh, that took out the E Spirit. That was so good. Okay, wait, is he not going to pop the ability? Goes for Evo Archers, but... Expo on the tower, I'm gonna log, gonna scale easier, block the archer. It shoots from like 15 miles away, so gonna have to block it like right now. Little Prince right now, block the expo some more, and that is gonna be a good game. So I'm gonna end the video there. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm gonna try to um, make a lot of fun expo decks and like other decks with Evo Archers, but yeah, I love you guys, bye.